During the Wabash Valley's first weekend of snow in early November, Indiana State Police responded to five crashes in the Putnamville District, which of course covers Vigo County and several other Valley counties. With December quickly approaching, Zeke Torres has more on how state and local road crews are getting ready for hazardous weather. As temperatures drop, road crews have spent months preparing for snow and ice to keep drivers safe. After unexpected November snow, Vigo County road crews were out laying salt and brine. Commissioner Chris Weitzer said the focus now is doing proper maintenance work on equipment in preparation for the first snowstorm whenever that may be. You start to see accumulating snow or ice on the road or, you know, it's forecast that we'll get out and treat it early and they'll respond accordingly. But it's really just that last minute call of, you know, what should we do? And we usually have a good reaction to stuff like that. Road pre-treatment starts when the temperatures consistently stay below freezing. Highly trafficked and main roads are points of emphasis when it comes to clearing snow. After a late shipment of salt and brine, the county is stocked on resources. We have to have our main roads open for emergency services, school buses and stuff like that. It's ultimately, we always do what's best for our, you know, our community and the school corporation, making sure our kids can go to school and stuff like that. So. We'll do what we can. NDOT's priority during cold weather is snow and ice removal. Drivers are assigned specific state roads or interstates. Pre-treatment depends on conditions. Salt will be distributed if there's little precipitation and low temps. More drivers are sent out depending on the level of snowfall. We make sure that we're prepared for any sort of winter event. Um, we're keeping track of our salt inventory year round. Um, and even after every storm, we'll assess, hey, we use this much salt. Do we need to bring more in? Be sure to tune in to Walker's Winter Outlook on Tuesday at 6 p.m. for more. Reporting in Terre Haute, I'm Zeke Torres.